Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed members of the press, and my fellow Americans. Today I am here to express my support for Vice President Kamala Harris and to offer my candidacy for the VP position as we steer this great nation toward a brighter future. We live in a time where the voices of the many are often overshadowed by the interests of the few, but I will champion policies that prioritize opportunity for all. Now let's address the elephant and the cat in the room. Why, with all the exceptional candidates, why choose a cat? Well, here's one example. The opposing party's VP pick, J.D. Vance, has a history of making derogatory remarks about women with cats. So who better than a cat to set him straight? Because this right-wing rhetoric around cat ladies is not just a flippant attack on older women. It's an attack on the very freedom to live our lives as we choose. It's an attempt to shame younger women into sexual relationships that diminish their dignity. And Mr. Vance's desire to make divorce more difficult for women in violent marriages is an effort to trap them in those relationships for the rest of their lives. This hacky cat lady trope is just an effort to belittle women who choose to be more than a breeder or a bitch. Actual slurs hurled at my person from members of the Party of Christian Values. Be fruitful and multiply, huh? Well... This is what it looks like when you make an idol of the Bible. Yes, even the Bible can be the object of idolatry, and no one commits spiritual adultery with more conviction and gusto than the evangelical right wing. Because they see the letters, but not the words. They see the words, but not their source. So, of course, it becomes just one more idol alongside the many other gods in their pantheon. Money, power, AR-15s, fetuses, sex, and war. They don't want to return us to some supposed simpler time in the past. They want a whole new America in which every woman is a servant, with no lip service even given to notions of respect or dignity. It's a new, ugly, overpopulated, and impoverished world that they seek for us. Well, guess what? We don't have to forfeit our country to whatever this new entity is. In fact, we won't. And so to J.D. Vance and his ilk, I say this. Mr. Vance, women are so much bigger than your tiny, tiny thoughts could ever contain. We will not be silenced. We will not be shamed. We are here to fight, and we don't tire easily. We will not let small men get in the way of an inclusive and truly just America. We are here to build a society greater than your fragility and more potent than your feeble masculinity. The future is bright, my friends. And with your support, I will mop the floor with J.D. Vance. And Kamala Harris and I will lead this nation into a new era of progress, unity, and hope. Now let's make history together. Who's with me?